This fierce looking high speed track vehicle makes mincemeat of any terrain. It's the brainchild of brothers Jeff and Mike Howe who were tasked with creating the Peacemaker, one of the starring vehicles in the new Mad Max film. They didn't want CG. What they really wanted was real badass. Back in the late 1990s, Jeff and I were just developing off-road vehicles, and we were just kind of pushing the envelope on developing off-road capability. And I turned to Jeff, I said, let's build a high-speed track vehicle. And we both looked at each other and we said, that's never been done before. And we love to do stuff that's never been done before. Then Hollywood came knocking. For Jeff and Mike, it was a chance to live out their boyhood fantasies. We grew up in the Mad Max era. I was a kid watching these movies and I, and I would have never had imagined that someday the director, George Miller, would call us up and be like, hey, can you guys make a vehicle for us? Challenge set. The twin brothers didn't waste any time. And along with their team at How and How Technologies, they set about building a big screen worthy beast. The idea came in, and we hit the floor, and, and it was built and, and testing within four months. But before it could be shipped to the set in Namibia, the Peacemaker underwent rigorous testing in the USA to ensure it could cope with the terrain of the post apocalyptic Mad Max world. And it certainly wasn't a case of smoke and mirrors. This is a blown. 502 big block. It is a thousand horsepower engine. This is not a prop vehicle. This is a very real deal. Peacemaker is geared out to do about 70 miles an hour. It's not super fast, but it's really, really fast for a track vehicle. And trust me, 70 miles an hour in a track vehicle is like being in a boat. It makes you feel like you're doing 100. You can see the Peacemaker in Mad Max Fury Road, released in 2015.